All right, you ready to go to the beach? I brought some sunscreen. What is that? Are you sunphobic? Excuse me? No, I, I love the sun. We just need to protect our- Ugh, no, I literally can't go with you knowing that you hate the sun. Well, well, I got other alternatives if you want to try. No. How else will the sun know my devotion if I don't look like a lobster? Huh? Helios? Is that you? Helios? You mean the great god of- I must ascend, dear child. May the solar flares guide you always. <sighs> well, more sunscreen from me, I guess. Hi, my name is Janelle, and today we're going to be talking about the trend of being anti-sunscreen. Now, this might be a shocker for some of you, but who knew sunscreen could be so controversial? Not me, but here we are. Also, before I start this video, please, please, please be nice to each other in the comments. I've had a few heated conversations in my comments before, and I want this to be a safe space where we can have meaningful conversations, and at the end of the day, we all want the same thing, to be healthy and to prevent skin cancer. Also, oh. also uh, you might see that I have upgraded. This is my new mic. Whoa, I got a boom arm. Look at me, Miss Professional YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, this is my old mic. Rest in peace. Okay, let's get into it. Also, disclaimer, I do not have a degree in science or any medical field, so if I do get anything wrong in this video, please feel free to correct me. I got the idea of this video of watching this very viral video of this guy claiming to be doing one of the healthiest things you can do. Right now, we are doing the healthiest thing that a human being can possibly do. We are outside in the sun, no sunscreen, no sunglasses, the full spectrum of UV light while grounding in a natural body of water. This is freedom. This is independence. This is what the pharmaceutical industry does not want you to know. This is how you heal. Not all their pills that you pay money for. This, connecting with nature, this is how we heal and thrive. And that got me thinking, why are people so against sunscreen? But first, let's talk about how skin cancer works. So our sun gives off tons of different rays, but the most damaging ones that comes to our surface are UVA and UVB. UVA is a longer wavelength and it's generally associated with skin aging and is about 95% of UV rays. The other 5% are UVB rays, which is responsible for the burning of your skin. Both of these rays are bad for your skin. An unprotected exposure leads to DNA damage in your cells. And that damage can cause genetic mutations that lead to cancer and premature aging. And not only is protecting your skin important, but it's also our eyes. A lot of eye damage, including cataracts and eyelid cancer. Now, if treated early, most common skin cancers can be curable, but you always risk it coming back. And one of the most dangerous skin cancers, melanoma, while it's much less common, it's terrifying because if you do not treat it early enough, the cancer will rapidly spread to your other organs. And depending on the type of skin cancer, it generally takes about 20 years to develop. And that's scary because that's quite a long time and you don't know how much damage you've done until it's too late. Getting multiple sunburns can greatly increase your chances of developing melanoma. You cannot feel UV rays, so you can still get a sunburn even on a cold or cloudy day if the UV index is high enough. So regardless if you're for or against sunscreen, please just at least be cautious of the UV index. Most weather apps nowadays have this feature and not enough people take advantage of it. In some areas, there are free screenings for skin cancer. So if you have a family history of it or you've just never had one before, I highly recommend you try to see if there is any clinics around you. It's better to be safe than sorry and it could quite possibly save your life. So back to the first question, why are some people so against sunscreen? And specifically, they're talking about chemical sunscreens because some of those chemicals have some concerns. Also, disclaimer, I suck at pronouncing a lot of these long words, so if I do get some wrong, 
I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> One of those ingredients is oxybenzone, and some have claimed that this is a hormone disruptor. And there are also studies out there of trace amounts of this chemical entering the bloodstream. And some sunscreens just have way too high of a dose of oxybenzone. But some of these studies were very small and some were just performed on animals. And some other concerning chemicals were ecamsol and avobenzone, causing skin allergies. And then there's octocrylene, which can naturally degrade into the chemical benzophenone a suspected carcinogen. And also, a lot of these chemicals are not good for our coral reefs and other marine life. Let me remind you that I am no scientific professional, and I can see on both sides why chemical sunscreen is good and bad. And I feel like I was constantly pulled from the left to the right, trying to see if these ingredients are actually harmful or not. And a big thing is that there simply isn't enough research out there at the moment. Science takes a lot of time and effort, and we will not know 100% until we have conclusive evidence. Also, some sunscreens only have UVB protection, so if you are looking for a chemical sunscreen, make sure to get a full spectrum, one that covers both UVA and UVB rays. And from what I've gathered through my research, the best alternative to chemical sunscreens are mineral sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens work by reflecting UV rays rather than absorbing them like chemical sunscreens. The active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which have been generally recognized as safe. There have been debates online of which is better, and honestly, mineral sunscreens offers pretty much the same protection as chemical sunscreens. Remember that everyone is different and has unique skin, and some people experience their skin drying out greatly when using mineral sunscreens, while some say that it calms their skin down. So if you are greatly worried about chemical sunscreens, mineral sunscreens could be the option for you. Now let's talk about the consumption of seed oils. Processed oils like vegetable oils have claims of being linked to inflammation or even cancer, though a lot of articles do state that there's no scientific research to back this up. The debate is the overconsumption of omega-6, which is in a lot of these oils, linoleic acid, which promotes chronic inflammation and is thought to be the root of many diseases. Linoleic acid isn't actually inflammatory itself, but rather the body converts it into arachnidonic acid. And not all the compounds it produces are inflammatory. Some people claim that reducing or completely removing these oils, which would be difficult for the average American diet, claim that they don't burn as much. But there is still a lot of research to do. And one myth I have seen is if UV rays cause cancer, then how do people get cancer in areas the sun don't shine? And to me, that really just shows how some people just don't know basic science. The sun is super reflective and it can bounce off many different surfaces. Things like water, ice, and snow have a very high albedo, meaning that the reflection bounces back. So you could be chilling underneath an umbrella at the beach, but that reflection from the water bounces back and you'll still get a sunburn. Also, clothes are not UV proof unless they were made to be. About 20% of UV rays can penetrate clothing, which is a big difference comparing that to the protection of a sunscreen, mineral, or chemical. And also, not all skin cancers are from UV exposure. Less than 5% are from inherited genes. Another myth is that people with darker skin don't get skin cancer because they have more melanin, which is blatantly false. Melanin does help with blocking out UV rays, but that can only go so far. It is more difficult to see sunburns on darker skin, but it's not about the sunburns, it's about the UV exposure and melanin alone isn't gonna cut it. Fair skin is definitely more susceptible to skin cancer, but everyone should be trying to protect their skin as much as possible. There have also been articles about ancestral wisdom, like how back in the day our ancestors didn't use sunscreens and they turned out fine. There's a few theories out there, like how they wore a lot more 
clothing back then because it was more practical. And a lot died before they could even develop skin cancer. And there were so, so many different diseases out there. So you could have been killed by a number of things and not even know that it was actually skin cancer. Also, I saw this migration theory about before our ancestors traveled all over the world, they lived in an area where their skin tone matched the environment they were living in. And because people started migrating all over the world, that kind of messed things up. Also, I've been watching some videos of licensed dermatologists talking about the importance of protecting your skin from UV. And sometimes in the comments, I'll see, oh, Big Pharma is putting money in your pocket for this one. And look, I am not the biggest fan of pharmaceutical companies either, America. The price gouging is insane. Personally, my family has to pay thousands of dollars every month just to get the life-saving medications that we need. But y'all... You need to protect your skin one way or another. And if you are interested, I highly recommend doing your own research and figuring out what's best for you. You do what you want to do with your own body. Just know what you're getting into and try to have an unbiased opinion to look at both sides and go from there. So in the end, please, please protect your skin. This video was honestly such a headache to research, but I learned a lot and I hope you did too. I am 1000% sure that I missed something or said something incorrect. So please, I beg you, please correct me in the comments down below if you are familiar with this topic. I am always looking for new topics to cover. So if you want, you can leave me a comment down below or you can send me a DM on Instagram. We are on the road to 1K, and if you could help out, I would be so, so honored for you to be a part of this journey. Hold on, wait. Did you forget to protect your skin again? <sighs> naughty, naughty. Here's some aloe vera gel. Let me help you out.